Alright, so I have a birch box video to make today. I received this box a week ago and I tried all the products first. I know some of you guys wanted me to try them, some of you guys didn't. I figured that I would try them simply because I like to make educational videos here on YouTube and not so much like, oh my god, look at this lip gloss, surprised face kind of videos. So, if you were into that, I'm sorry, but there are tons of other beauty gurus who are totally down that alley and love doing that kind of stuff. So you can definitely like check them out if you want to see surprised face videos. But I'm more for a review kind of video. So got my birch box a week ago. I believe this is the August box. I mean it has to be, right? It arrived in August. So I'm really excited for this one. I'm going to show you guys what I got. Pretty, pretty exciting. There's only one of the products that I didn't try, but I assume it will work and you'll know what I mean after I mention it. So, first of all, the theme for this box, because, ooh, I'm already dropping things. So, the theme for this box is Beauty School. I love the themes for their boxes. I think they're so cute. Last time it was Glamour Magazine and there was a lot of really cute products and this one's all about, like, you know, educating yourself on makeup and it's actually actually really really cool like it's not just like a little booklet on like how to apply eyeshadow it's really cool they talk about eyelash curlers foundation brushes kabuki brushes eyeshadow brushes fan brushes you see all these cute makeup terms like how to read a label not a label yeah a label five tips to a better shave because there is a razor in this box and then it's just super cute and then of course on the back you have what you actually got in the box. So it's really, really cute. Okay, let's just get into it. I will start off with the perfume sample. I don't know if it's like a thing for Birchbox to always be putting in perfume samples, but there was a perfume sample in the last one, which was like the Juliet has a gun perfume. Oh my gosh, and I dropped the perfume. I am dropping everything in this video. So the perfume that they included in this Birchbox is the new Viva La Juicy, and it's the La Fleur one. Um, and La Fleur, if you don't know, in French just means flower. So when I heard that, well, when I saw that, I was like, oh my god, yikes. Because I do like the smell of Viva La Juicy. It's a very, very sweet, girly fragrance, but adding flower to that, I was like, oh no, what's this gonna smell like? And my suspicions proved to be correct. I'm really not into this fragrance, like, at all. It was kind of like... Uh, like an overwhelming scent. It's just a lot going on and I'm not a fan of it. It's very sweet and very very floral. So I'm not a fan. Um, it says that it's uplifting, playful, and dreamy. So I mean I guess you could call it those things but I just kind of call it gross. It didn't really appeal to me but um, there's mandarin, wild berries, dewy honeysuckle, and soft jasmine. So Oh, and a whisper of creamy gourmand addiction envelops the skin. Wow, this is like a really descriptive description. So, this was like a, a miss for me. Um, okay, moving on to my favorite product in this box. Oh my god, when I saw this, I literally flipped out. Okay, so... It's this product by Miss Jessie's Original, and it's Miss Jessie's Original Quick Curls, the best darn curl cream, period. So, oh my god, like, I freaked out because I saw this and I was like, oh my god, Birchbox is reading my mind because I'm obviously, like, when you have curly hair, you have to constantly be looking for new products because you may you may have like a really good product but your hair is going to get used to it at one point it's just not going to work the way it used to anymore so you have to kind of be constantly switching up products so i'm constantly looking for frizz fighting curl defining creams wherever i can find them um and the fact that they sent this was just amazing because this is a darn good size for a sample, like this is huge. Like I can't even imagine what the actual size of this cream is. It must be really big because this is a lot. Like this is, how much is in here? Two fluid ounces, which is a lot of product. So I've been using this pretty much every day for the past like week that I've had this box and I've barely made a dent in this. And like this is the best part. It actually works. This definitely was great. So curly haired girls, um, I don't know where you can find this. I honestly don't. But I'm sure like, you know, Google has all the answers. Just Google up 
Miss Jessie's Quick Curls and see if you can find a store near you that sells this stuff. I was very, very surprised with this product because I didn't think I would like it, but I really, really liked it. So that was definitely a good product in here. I really liked it. Then we have something different. This is actually the first thing that I saw because it was right on top and it's like the biggest item in here. They sent a razor and I believe this is like a new razor. It's the Chic Hydro Silk. I don't have the actual razor in here because again, I tried it out to show you guys. Um, but it's supposed to be new. I don't know. I guess like the big thing with it is that there's like water activated moisturizing serum, like five like blades and it's like supposed to like work with like the curves like your knees and ankles and stuff um anyway it was just it was a good razor i guess i'm still sticking to my like holy grail which is the chic quattro that's a great razor you don't need shaving cream with it because it has like a bar of moisturizing like um, soapy stuff and it works amazing and I love it it works so well so I'm sticking to that one but this was good I tried it out and um, it lasted a couple days too because sometimes I find with razors some last longer than others that one definitely got like a good two days or maybe like three days um, until like it wasn't really as sharp anymore I kind of dulled down so um, I did like it it wouldn't really be something that I would buy because I already have a razor that I use all the time but if I was looking for one then I would check that out so if you're looking for a razor that's a good one okay we have two more products this next product left me a little confused okay so this is the um, lid last shadow pen by pixie now pixie is a like Ulta drugstore brand. If you've ever been to Ulta, Ulta is pretty much a mixture of Sephora and a drugstore and like a hair salon because in the back they got some hair salon going on. I don't know about that. So um, there's a lot going on at Ulta and in the drugstore-ish section there's like drugstore brands that I can only find at Ulta so I call it like Ulta drugstore. So Pixie is one of those lines like I can't find that at a local CVS but I can find it at my local Ulta in the drugstore section. So I associate it with Ulta. Anyways, I've seen it before and I saw because I knew that it was an affordable brand so I was kind of excited when I saw this in the box because I was like, okay, awesome. If I find like something affordable, I can recommend it to you guys, let you know that you should check it out and then it's not going to break your bank because who's not for that, right? Um, tried this out and I was, not going to lie, a little disappointed. Um, it's supposed to be like a color that you put on your eyes, like a NYX jumbo pencil type deal where it's like you can use it as a base or you can kind of wear it on its own if you just want a light creamy color. Um, this is in Bronze Brilliance. It just looks like this. It's just like a pencil. Um, okay, a couple things. Number one is there's no way you can sharpen this. And believe me, I've tried everything. It's plastic, so you can't stick this in like a um, eyeliner sharpener or anything like that. You can do that with the NYX Jumbo Pencil, so you can't sharpen it. There's nothing you can like twist at the bottom or like at the top for it to go up. Um, so it's it's kind of like if you're done with it, you're done with it. So, I mean, it's good that the brand is affordable, so you can buy another one if you run out, but I just thought that was a little strange, because whenever I see a pencil like this, you think, like, there has to be a way to sharpen it to make it last longer, but I guess the product just goes up to the tip and that's it. It's not, like, in the actual, um, like, pencil. So that was kind of weird. And then also it creased really, really badly. Um, that may just be because I have like over oily eyelids. I don't know, but it definitely creased on me. And I assumed as much. I was ready to put a primer underneath because that's just kind of like a force of habit for me. I always have a um, primer on my lids no matter what I'm doing. So I almost put it on, but then I was like, no, I'm going to put it to the test and see if it actually creases in. It did crease. So you definitely need a primer underneath, which is not that bad because you can find primer primers that are affordable at your drugstore. So that wasn't that bad, but I definitely wasn't a, oop, and I dropped it. Well, I'm not going to pick it up again. <laughs> I definitely wasn't a fan of that product. So I'm going to have to thumbs down that one but the next product kind of made it all better because this is like a really interesting product now I didn't try this product but this was the one that I was telling you that's kind of like self-explanatory you really don't need to try it it's bound to work it's the beauty fixation um, makeup removers but they're inside q-tips so they're kind of like beauty makeup remover q-tips anyway I've seen something like this before at CVS I don't know if it's the same brand because it, this may be a product that a lot of different brands come out with but I saw this at CVS and they had a nail polish remover 
and they had a lip balm one. I got the lip balm one because I think it's really awesome how you can have lip balm inside a Q-tip because you can throw it in your pocket and it's not going to have like a big bump in your pocket like some chapsticks are like in the tubes and it's really uncomfortable especially if you're wearing shorts or something and you don't have a purse. So um, I definitely thought this was cool because I could throw it in my pocket and stuff. Um, but this is like a makeup remover, which I think is even cooler because when you're out and about, you know, you might get something in your eye, maybe your mascara will smudge, or maybe your makeup will smudge, or you'll forget, if you're like me, you'll forget that you have makeup on, and then you'll just rub your eye, and then you're like, oh, crap, I have eyeshadow or like eyeliner all over my hand right now and I need to go to the bathroom and touch this up. A lot of times you're in a bathroom where it's like there's these rough hand towels or you get stuck with the hand dryers and then like God knows what kind of soap you would be putting near your eye. So it's nice to have like a makeup remover on hand because a lot of times makeup removers are like not in practical bottles. They're in bottles that you want to keep at home, not like throw in your purse. So these are cool. I'm sure you can get these from the Birchbox website if you're interested. Um, I don't know if this is the brand that I was talking about that I saw at CVS, so maybe you can find it at CVS. I have no idea, but it was a pretty cool product, and um, I'm excited to one day try this. So I'll be keeping it in my purse, and I'll keep you guys posted if I ever do end up using it. So that is it for the Birchbox this month. I am so far in love with the Birchbox subscription service. I think it's really, really cool and really fun. It's something to look forward to every month, that box. And then if you aren't looking forward to it, like if you forget about it, it's a nice surprise. So I'm definitely a big fan. It's like a little Christmas present every month. So. I'm loving the Birchbox. As far as Julep goes, I saw some comments on my Julep and Birchbox video where they're like, oh, you have to pay $20 a month, and I was like, um, not happening. So, I'm guessing that the last box they sent is the last box they'll ever be sending to me, which I'm totally fine with. I have enough nail polish to deal with right now, so I'm fine with that. So, I do not think you'll be seeing another Julep video, which I hope you guys are okay with. Anyways, that's it for this video. The next video you guys will be seeing is a... July favorites because I know I'm really late. What is today? Like the 15th or something? Sorry about that. Um, or today's the 16th actually. Yeah, I'm really late, but I'm still gonna make it anyways, and I'll be wearing the same exact outfit. So yeah. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you in the next one. Take care, guys. Ciao.